So Ian, give me your best effort to sell me, to sell us and the fans why North Austin is not as good as uh, South Austin. <laughs> I was like, why North Austin is not? That's a trick question. Okay, so I'm going to start off by saying there is a huge difference in culture. Know that all of the, a lot of the like artists and the, the, I got to be careful when I say cool people, but a lot of the artists and stuff, they moved south, <laughs> right? And then you have a lot of people that move north uh, that as they're building out these suburbs, they built out the train line there. So there's public transportation. So North ends up having that benefit. It has the Lake, Lake Travis is North of the river. Um, so you, you do have a lot of growth up there, the campus UT Austin. Well, to be, hold on, to be fair, Lake Travis is kind of, you can't it's, really claim Yeah, it's anymore. both. It's both. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It continue. Is. Continue. It is. Um, <laughs> I, I would say that what I've noticed is a lot of the things, a lot of the infrastructure that they're building, that they build in Austin proper, they're also building north in the suburbs. I'll give you an example. Jack Allen's, they put a bunch of those north, right? Uh, Hop Dottie, very popular hamburger spot. And we're, we're going to get into the food, but a lot of these things that they're building, they're building north. I'm not saying they're not building them south. But they are building them north. Jobs, let's look at tech jobs, right? Apple, um, Amazon, uh, Google, Facebook, they're all north of the river. It's just, it's an interesting dynamic. Um, we'll get to traffic. I'm sure we're going to talk about a lot of this stuff because I see all these questions coming in. Yeah. So that, okay. So North versus South, I'm going to give you my plug for South. So like, like Ian said, all the cool kids live South. Um, <laughs> you said kids. <laughs> just throwing uh, that out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, South Austin is definitely a different feel than North Austin. I'll definitely agree with what he said there. Um, I was once joking with somebody and we had both agreed that the air was better in South Austin. So, Oh my God, <laughs> that might be right. Yeah. I think the air quality is definitely better in South Austin. Um, so really South Austin is a lot slower of a vibe than North Austin. A lot of people leave a big city. And I, in my opinion, North Austin more is more of that kind of bigger city vibe, even though Austin is very small. Um, South Austin is more of that kind of relaxed, if you will, hippie-ish vibe, um, mm. cool kid vibe, artists in vibe, um, a lot of really great neighborhoods and communities. I think North Austin, um, depending on where you go, has some really beautiful and great communities as well. Um, I've just spent, I feel like I just spent 15 days straight in Brushy Creek. So I yes. that area, Avery Ranch, gorgeous area. Yes. Um, but if you're looking at South, we have and, you know, Dripping Springs, we have, you know, Zilker Park, which is amazing. Zilker Park is literally the lifeblood of Austin. And you, if you took Zilker Park out of Austin, Austin would not be Austin. Um, yeah. Right. So yeah, that's, right. that's technically South. Um, uh, SoCo area is amazing. Uh, I mean, the greatest thing to do is even being a local doing the tourist things in Austin are always fun. So going down to SoCo, having some, uh, you know, drinks or grabbing some Joe's coffee, walking around, grabbing some Mamie's ice cream, grabbing a slice of pizza. I mean, you can make that whole loop. It's fantastic. Um, just the vibe is much different. If you go further out into like Buda, Kyle, it's definitely more of a, uh, which is South the suburbs is more of a, um, definitely a country ish vibe. So way more laid back. Um, North Austin, I don't really think you get that laid back feel until you get maybe to Liberty Hill or Georgetown. And then you start getting that like kind of laid back feel. Um, plus we have a lot of the hill country things out dripping spring wise. So we have, you know, deep Betty vodka, dripping springs vodka. We have all the distilleries out there, the breweries, the wineries. I mean, you can't get much better than South Austin. Granted, if you live in North Austin, you can come hang out on our side. There's nothing stopping you. You know, there's no, I mean, unless we took down the bridges, like, you know, there's nothing stopping you. So, uh, Ian, you're a volley to you, my friend. 
Oh my gosh, where to start? So what what are we, what is our topic right now? Like, do we want to talk food? Do we want to talk? I want to hear that we're we're battling right now. If you didn't yeah. get ready for this battle, I don't know what to tell you. This is a yeah. You just battle. jabbed, jabbed, and, and <laughs> jabbed, hooked, jabbed. and I didn't even have a chance. I'm just listening, like, oh yeah, he's got a point. So <laughs> you want to write about dri dripping springs? So when I want to go on vacation, I'll probably I end up going to dripping springs. We were just there a couple weeks ago, uh, specifically for it was called a getaway, and it was like a tiny home community or a tiny home out in the middle of nowhere on top of a mountain. So that's interesting because topography changes north and south. Cause you said, you said hill country, right? Hill country. There is a lot south, but also north as well. Georgetown. It's surprising how much topography that has. Uh, Lago Vista. Someone had mentioned Lago Vista okay. earlier. That is gorgeous topography. So when you start wanting, you want some, you want some rocks, you want some hills and some views on your homes. You get those all over Austin, all over the West side of 35 of Austin, but both North and South have so many options for you. I think you see more trees South. Yeah, for sure. Right? Definitely, yeah. definitely more uh, green South, you know, and th this is a good question. I, I don't mean to cut you off. I want you to keep going, but the Lakeway versus Lago Vista, Lakeway school district is one of the highest rated in Texas, if not Austin uh, area. And so for a new family, young family, um, the schools there, Serene Hills, that area is phenomenal. I think there's a lot more to do for families in Lakeway versus Lago Vista. There's just not as much built around Lago Vista. So if you're going to North versus South, Lakeway versus Lago Vista, I would, prices are better probably in Lago Vista. That's it. But, That's the key. They don't yeah. even have an ATB in Lago Vista. Right. Right. So they don't even have a big grocery store. It feels very country, but they do have the topography. You still have the lake access, but the prices are so much uh, more, I'll say reasonable, which is relative based on what your price points are, but it is so much more reasonable, especially if you, um, if you, if you want to have that lake access and easy access to other areas North. So it, it's nice. It's really, really nice. Both areas are nice. How do you how do you answer this question as far as why there's more development in North Austin? So I think I think what happens is the domain blew up on accident. So that's one of the malls that's north. So it's actually in North Austin proper, and it blew up. And it's a mixed use project where um, where you have really cool stores. You also you have some of the luxury luxury retail and then you have some of the uh, regular retail and then you have in there i mean you have like a car dealership tesla's in there then you have apartments on top and it's kind of like posh and cool and it's like trying to take the essence of downtown austin where sixth street and rainy are and moving that to a mixed used urban area but still not feel uh suburban right and kind of like mueller you probably heard the term mueller domain mueller those are both really cool spots for the 20 and 30 somethings, right? So yeah. if we're going to start getting into demographics, that's where you have a lot of people hanging out that, uh, that may just be starting a family or, or just want to spend time kind of out on the town, which yeah. is different than people that want to go and like hike. Now we have yeah. that too up North, but you know, there South will win. South will win when it comes to like hiking and biking trails and and the variety of them but so, I, I i have a lot of fun up north too and we'll get into that too so to answer this question i think there's a a, a few different reasons why you see more devel development north again i think there's less a little less area to build south mm -hmm. than there is north there's a little more the land grab is a little bit more so that's one reason the other reason like you said that you know, the buildup around the domain. Um, people want to live around the domain, which do the domain's very nice. Um, but tech companies have more space to build up there than they do downtown. Other yep. than if they don't build further south, they're going to be in Buda, Kyle, um, which they are. Um, Amazon's bringing another uh, facility there in, in uh, Kyle. Um, there's a lot of actually tech companies starting to build in Buda and Kyle because it is a lot cheaper for them to build in Kyle and Buda. So, um, I think you're going to see a ton more uh, development. I mean, obviously, what, where was Tesla going to build? They, they couldn't really go north. They had to go east. So really, the development is where there is land available. And I think if you're looking, 
I'll let Ian add his screen here. Um, there you go. See, it's uh, funny you say that because Tesla had the choice and they were they were eyeing Hutto for a while. I believe it was Hutto. So it was yeah. either Hutto or Dell Valley, which is really it is the north and the south. And I think the only distinction between them um, would be that there was the airport access, which is south. Right. And, and Elon Musk, you know, founder of Tesla, he also has SpaceX, which is, I'm sorry, east. So east, southeast. So he has SpaceX. So to be able to travel to and from Houston, I think that's the only reason it edged out. Only reason. But those are your starter jobs, right? You earlier yeah. said uh, you said all the cool kids move south. Well, that's your starter jobs. When you go north, you have <laughs> you have your executive, <laughs> your, I, I, your middle management, and your executive jobs at the tech companies. You know, I, I have a lot of neighbors. I live Circle C, so I live south. Yeah, I have a lot of neighbors that make the trek to the domain area every day, and they, mm -hmm. you know. It's not that bad of a drive. I mean, 30 to 45 minutes, depending on when, what time of day you're going. Um, so yeah, I know for us, that's a long time, but for people like a lot of our clients, like, oh, I'm used to driving an hour and 15 minutes in traffic. So traffic, yeah. the traffic going from South to North is way better than going from North to South. So in Wait, my what? opinion, yeah, you heard me. I just did that dagger straight out there because this is, I mean, this is still a battle. Don't go soft on me. I don't, I don't so, think so. <laughs> yeah. So from circle C to downtown. Somebody's to get, fainting over here. <laughs> so <laughs> what, anytime I do a video, I use, it's a wink and a nod to Google. I use yeah. the Google headquarters as the main point downtown. Mm. And it is faster. It's only like 25 minutes at most to get from my area to downtown or that area downtown. If you're going from Round Rock, Pflugerville, where, I mean, you're Round Rock, yeah. like it's easily an hour in traffic. So yes, but if you look at the concentration of jobs, the concentration is actually Northern Austin, right? So your apples of the world, your Dells of the world, those were all Northern, right? So to get to Dell, Dell is actually in Round Rock. They have a huge campus. Apple is just next to Brushy Creek, which is also, they're building another facility. Amazon's in Pflugerville. So when you're thinking like the actual growth of the area, the Dell Diamond, the Kalahari, and we can go on and on and on up north, the growth because of that and getting to the places where people are actually going to work, getting to, getting, I'll, I'll say getting to the domain area where Facebook is going to be, right? Or where, or Pflugerville, you're spending about 20 minutes from Round Rock. And Round Rock is some mileage. Right? Yeah, Round Rock's some mileage. South and, you gotta drive, and you got to drive down that horrible freeway called the I-35. You know, I-35 goes from like Mexico to past Dallas. Yeah, so awful. Uh, I just there, think there's a lot of it. traffic. I there's a like, lot of traffic on that road. <laughs> so I, I have to push back because you also have Oracle, which is south. It's southeast, but Oracle southeast. Uh, hey, okay. And the F1 track is right next to the airport. So yeah. we're winning it's not already. Open right now, that doesn't count. Hey, hey you can still go. I mean, who doesn't want to go see Christina Aguilera down at the F1 track? I mean, come You're on. right. But think about like how many people are actually working there versus how many people are working at Apple or Dell or Google or Facebook. Well, I think about how many people want to take their nice cars from like, I don't know, Westlake and drive out there and go drive around the track. You are absolutely right. Westlake you are South. absolutely right about that. But and we're talking like, where's the school? So weekday activities versus weekend is almost, they have to separate it. Right. Okay. Right. Well, let, let's, let's jump into this food. Who's got okay. the better food, North or South? Definitely South. Go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to have to disagree. I think it depends on what type of food you're talking about. If you're looking for eclectic food, I think anywhere in Austin proper, especially North, you're going to have a lot of that. So we have a place called Descada. We have, uh, which is a taco truck. It's so good. It's so good. They don't even ask you what you want on the taco. They say, do you want three, six, or nine? Those are your choices. Those are your choices. And it's just, it's incredible. There's a place called Jacoby's, which is north. I mean, it's, it's right on the border just before the river. In fact, I think it's overlooking the river, but it's still north. And that place, you ever walked into a place and you look around and you say, and you feel like you're home? Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. And then you, you're worried that the prices are going to be a little out of little out there. And then you're relieved that they're not. And it's farm to table. There's outdoor seating, in-store seating. There's craft beer. Just there are 
hundreds of places like that north. I, I, you know what? Okay. The best thing that North has going for it is that um, they have that taco truck. Uh, oh my Veracruz. Gosh. Well, Veracruz is south. We have that. Veracruz is. Uh, Where's the original uh, one? Well, who cares about that? But we have it down <laughs> south. The original right? one is north. That's Look, what we, cares about. We that. have some of the best coffee joints, Cosmic Coffee. We have Radio Coffee. Some of the best coffee joints to go to. So, and they all have taco trucks there. So, don't don't try to you know persuade no, the people. No, no, uh, no. Summer Moon, Red Horn Coffee. We got Summer Moon. We you know get out of here with that Summer Moon. Summer Moon's great, but I mean we have it so. Um, you have Starbucks down south. That's what you have. <laughs> yeah, right. <That's> we, have. <laughs> <laughs> we got some good coffee. Popular coffee place. Uh, it's seven eight seven zero four. There's tons. I mean, Taco Deli, right? Spyglass. I, you got Taco Deli up there, I get. Yeah, yeah. Taco, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. But That's the uh, one thing. There are a lot of these guys places downtown. that are branching so quickly because yeah. of the growth that they end up putting them north and south. Yeah. south. A couple more north, but generally north and south. Yeah. What about Franklin <laughs> Barbecue? Oh, Valentina's Barbecue in South Austin. Now we're talking the best. Yeah, hands down. I who's hate heard of it? Like people that like you think about it, everybody heard of Franklin. Oh, people stand oh. in line for Franklin's. I'm not okay, saying they don't stand in yeah. line for You're gonna stand in line at Franklin's for four hours. Valentina's probably the best in town. You can just order up, boop, walk up, grab your tacos. So Valentina's Tex Mex Barbecue. Let me explain to you how amazing this place is. Uh, mm. Amazing. Every single client that I've ever had come out and go, oh, I want the best uh, barbecue. Oh, I've heard Salt Lake is good. So they go over to the Salt Lake and I'm like, no, hey, what? I know, but you go to these forums, all these like Facebook movie. Spring Springs. Dude, all these moving to Austin groups, people are like, oh, Terry Blacks is the best. No. Uh, Salt Lake. Right? Thank no. you. Terry, Terry Blacks is not the best. Valentina's <laughs> will blow your mind. Come down. Let's go make the trip across the river and come down and I will treat you to some Valentina's barbecue and I will change your life forever. I'm going to take you up on that. You know I will. I know. I know. You're the, probably the only person that would take me up on that. Fusion. In Fusion. Austin. South and oh, North. Oh, you, you want fusion places. That's a good fusion. Loro, They're Loro, Franklin Barbecue meets oh. uh, uh, Contigo, uh, that restaurant, which is in South Austin. Boom. We, we just won. Game over. No, uh, well, nice. it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, versus whatever. Uh, th oh, events. You can't compare. Well, hold on. Yeah, you can because it South by Southwest. Compare, but I'm going to let you go ahead and, and tell me some more. The only thing you have is South by Southwest is mainly above the river. But we have ACL. We have the Kite Festival. We have everything that goes on at Zilker Park. We're nailing it. And then MotoGP. We have all the events at Coda. I mean, the only thing you have up there is maybe some sunshine that you got from Dallas and a tornado. So that, yeah. that's it. That's the only events you get from up there. When do these events take place? Uh, on the weekends, right? On the weekends, yes. Yeah. So you could still live north, <laughs> work north during the week. Cab rides like, cheaper. Like the, 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 the Uber's cheaper. The and Uber's then when you want to go south. do something on the weekend, you go south and hang out for a little bit. So so far, I want to say it's a semi draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't even started yet. Oh, well, what else do you got for North? I, I, oh my I feel gosh. like you were, I was falling asleep over here. I'm sorry. You know what? We, have you ever been to Mount Bunnell? Have you ever heard of that place? That's, I mean, I it's feel like of, it's it, North. If we're going North River, it's, it's up there. It's North River. Oh, yeah. but we have Hamilton, Hamilton pool. You do, but it takes you yes. like an hour to get there. And then there's reservations. No. And so you can't even get in half the time. You can just sneak in. I mean, I don't <laughs> never done it, but you can, you no, can do no. it. We it's in Jacobs Well. It's pretty. I mean, it's a pretty hole. You, That's are, all. It's cool. it's you are making big. my case. It's this big. <laughs> <laughs> and private property. I couldn't fly my drone or anything. Mayfield Park. We've got peacock. We've got we have a peacock park that was free, donated land. You go look at the peacocks. You go to Mozart's, get some coffee over the lake, and then you go check out Mount Bunnell. Barton Springs pools. So Barton Springs, you can walk all the way through the green belt down there. Uh, we have uh, the Velo side though. But <laughs> it is, it is. That's on both. But yeah, I park on the north side. Okay. Well, see, you're a northeast. See, you park northeast. I park southeast, and we then we get there. Um, so there's also uh, the Velo track, which is in Circle C. The Lady Bird uh, Johnson Wildflower Center. Mm-hmm. We have tons of biking trail. I'm sure there's a bike trail or two up north, but 
There are a lot. Brushy Creek is known. Walnut Creek. Walnut Creek is probably the most popular no, bike trail no, no, no. in Austin. I'm going to argue that one. I'm going to say it's the most popular one, and it's in North Austin, north of the, the of the domain even. So where where uh, Austin and Pflugerville meet. And the reason why that is so popular is because it has everything. It's not Zilker Park. It's not like that sparse, but you could ride for, you can easily do uh, 15 miles of trails and there's a varying degree of difficulty. So you have beginners, you have hikers, you have families, you have kids, you have adults, plus you have a an actual paved path that will take you to like burn it, which is hours uh, west. So like you have all these variations yeah. just in that one section. Well, we have the Velo, uh, the, uh, is it the Velo Way track? No, uh, Violet Cran Trail, which goes from Buda all the way to downtown. And that's going to be South Austin. All right. Yeah, but what are you looking at the whole time? Beautiful. Highway and cows. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> South Austin topography. 